Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Online Let's Play. You're with Zuljin, and we are back in the realm of yours. You had to do some more story questing today in the city of Ulda. Let's speak to Momodi, shall we? Momodi wants to see you off to the banquet. This is it, Zul, your big debut in Ulden High Society. The banquet is being held by a fragrant chamber. Head over to the Royal Promenade, and Bartholomew will show you in. Oh, be sure to put on your earrings first, or he'll send you packing. I already took care of that. Right, well, I reckon that that's everything. Try not to let the pomp and ceremony get to you. Just be yourself and you'll be fine. Who's this? Man, they kind of look like me. <laughs> I guess. All right, so let's see where this is. Um, put on the voice of the just and speak with Vor. Bartholomew. So Bartholomew is, where exactly is this? Royal Reception Hall. Um, that's the Hustling Strip. Is that where that is? I'm guessing? Yeah, a little western. Th oh no, that's a um, couple other things. Okay, hold on. Royal Reception is actually uh, Steps of Ulda. Royal Reception. Uh-huh. Royal Promenade, and this is located right up top where the the Chamber of Rule is. I don't know if I actually got that, but I know I have the Alchemist Guild. So let's go there, uh, right outside of the Adventures Hall. I can take one of the uh, the Aetherites. Here we go. Yeah, Alchemist Guild is close enough. Although I think I did get the other one too. Let's see. I have... No, I don't. Oh, the Chamber of Rule. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I actually do. I guess that one kind of unlocked when uh, I did my other ones or whatever. There we go. We just go around here. And this should be our big event, you guys. Do I walk in with all of my armor like this, or should I like put on my other attire? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I guess my earrings is really all that I need. Oh, okay. Here we go. Bartholomew. Yep, that's our guy. A banquet hosted by Her Grace the Sultana is due to begin shortly. Attendance is by invitation only. Please make way for arriving guests. We are honored to receive you, my lord. Please proceed inside. Yeah, I have my earrings on, so he let me in. All right, let's see how this goes. Ooh. Oh, it's all fancy. Papa Sean. <laughs> all hail the Sultana. Your grace. Raubon. Wow. <laughs> By right of the royal house of all, I, Nanamo, 17th of my line, have summoned you here. We are graced this day by the presence of a hero to Ulda and dear friend to the crown. Oh. Honored guests. Give you our champion. Wow. And with that, I bid you enjoy the feast. I will. Where's the food? Not to spoil your appetite, but Uda is hardly so bountiful as this meal would have you believe. While we gorge ourselves. Children starve in the streets, nor can her grace do aught to help them. She is thwarted at every turn by those on the syndicate who derive their wealth from the workers' poverty. Well, that's Beneath morbid. Her mask of stately serenity, she is aghast at the plight of her subjects. But there will be no hope for the masses until the crown is restored to power. I am truly grateful for all you have done for Ulda. But there is so much more to do. I'm here for the long haul, man. We just got started. That light. What is it? Mm 
Mm -hmm. So bright. Almost like by the twelve. Tell me true. Have you been troubled by strange dreams of late? Visions of the crystal? Yes, sir. Mayhap you put them down to an excess of ether. Yes, you are like they were. The worries of light. Allow me to explain. Before you came to Eorzea, there were others like you who fought the primals. Though they were not of this land, when the Garlean Empire threatened the realm, they helped bring together the three grand companies. And they stood with us at Cartano, that fateful day five years ago. The day we lost them. None who survived have forgotten the hero's sacrifice. Nor would any man deny they fought alongside us. But the names of these heroes come not to our lips. The once familiar pages of their story are now blank to us. And in our mind's eye, their faces are not but silhouettes amid a blinding glare. It is for this reason that we have come to call them the Warriors of Light. Mm -hmm. When I look at you, I cannot help but think of them and of what you might achieve. Well, that's mighty kind you of you. must protect that crystal at all costs. It is a gift from Hydaelyn, mother of all, and one she gave to you for a reason. Yours is no ordinary tale. If I am right, the fate of the realm may yet hang upon your deeds. That's a lot of weight, dude. Only heroes and martyrs are fit to bear such a burden. Let us pray you are the former. <laughs> yeah, martyr doesn't sound too attractive. <clears throat> what the hell? I'm gonna faint at the party. Damn. I'm always passing out. See all of this. Bold. Show those imperial whore sons what we're made of. The left flank buckles. Divert the barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it cost them their lives. The yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the white wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. again is autumn no it is nothing <laughs> so the shield the barrier won't go down so easily eyes forward Look at how armored that chocobo is, man. We are being watched. Raging bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Respond. Rider, the 
Lucas is raging bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Damn it! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swan. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soir. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our late cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? <laughs> well, use them! <laughs> <laughs> Run. <laughs> Old school communication. Go holler. <laughs> Go yell at him. Come on, retreat. The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? It's that robed figure. We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. Yep. So Gideon Moise don't rule. Logar ho. Asawad Deacon. Imarat way. Kiskatoga hearts water dawn. Seize me again. Feast dawn the only lamp. Evil bastards. Who are they, man? <laughs> At least I'm in my room. <laughs> How you feeling, Zul? Oh, Momo D. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that walk she got. Walking all hard. <laughs> Said you fainted in the middle of one of the general stories. I had to have you carried back to the hourglass. I reckon you made quite an impression on your fellow guests, though probably not the sort you intended. You sure are getting an espresso? Life and adventure can be pretty taxing. I pass out in front of everybody, man. <laughs> Any road, I'm glad to see you're back to normal. No offense, but looking, <laughs> but looking after you was getting a bit tiresome. Oh, before I forget, a general left a message for you. Said that when you're feeling up to it, you should come and see him in the Hall of Flames. Probably wants to finish the story he was telling when you fell asleep. <laughs> it's 
so terrible, man. Oh, I can't believe. <sighs> well, <laughs> okay. Um, so the Hall of Flames is, let's see where. It's in the Steps of Nald. Hall of Flames. This is near the... Oh, the Aetherite Plaza. I could just uh, go home here. It's probably the easiest way. Uh, return. Yeah. Uh, cannot be used here. Oh, I guess I have to get out of my room first. All right. Oh, we might be pretty close to... Um, actually, we are. Yeah, it's not. it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. All right. It's even faster with boost. I love having jump in this game. <laughs> I really do. All right. I don't think I've ever been to the Hall of Flames. I guess that's his group name based on the little story that we just watched. Uh, let's see. It is here. Oh, it's actually up top. All right. I've been waiting for you, Zul. I trust you are fully recovered. Good, because there's much work to be done. Work that I would have you do. Sweet. And I leveled up. <laughs> All right. Listen well, Zul. This will take some time to explain. Uh, Ulda Envoy. Rabban means to entrust you with the task of utmost importance. Alright, Robin. What do you got? I've prepared these letters for my counterparts in the Eorzean Alliance. <clears throat> ah, I guess we get to take the airship now. I've been waiting for this, y'all. Five years ago, we looked on powerless as our brothers and sisters were taken from us at Cartano uh, by the Garleans, and then by the thrice-damned primal called forth by their treachery. Not a day goes by that I do not think of my fallen comrades and of the warriors of light, of whom no trace remained. The tragedies of the Calamity are not so easily forgotten, nor should they be. In remembering all we've lost, we're reminded of what we still have. And so I mean to mark the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Cortino with a memorial service honoring the Fallen. It is my hope that my counterparts in the Alliance will agree to do the same. And I would have you bear my words to them as my personal envoy. Why you? Because the deeds mark you out as the nearest thing I have to a warrior of light. I cannot think of none more worthy than this role. The question is, will you accept it? Well, of course I will. Then it's agreed. You will journey to Gridania and Limsa Lamenza to as a final as an official representative. Now, the great many mouths to travel. I have neither the time nor patience to wait around while I while you do it on foot. This is going to be a ticket for airships, I think. I hereby grant you permission to use the airship routes connecting the three city states. This passive serve this pass serves as proof of your privilege. Ah, uh, needed that. Now I can go get my uh, I can go get my second classes in um, in Gridania so that I can start working toward Paladin. Good. Gone are the <laughs> days then when air travel was available to all. The ever-present threat of imperial attack has forced us to impose drastic restrictions out of concern of public safety. These passes are only granted when circumstances demands it, and this is the case. Though there were others who insisted you be granted one regardless. Azul, I'm not alone in seeing it. Your potential is plain. But I have said enough. In the name of Sultana, I bid you go forth. See for yourself the wonders of the realm in which the warriors of light risk all. Rise to your calling and fulfill your promise. And you should, and should your path be barred by man or beast, strike fast and true, for victory belongs to the bold. Now go, Zul, and heed the crystal's guidance, should you ever lose the way. 
And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can move along. I have been waiting for this. Because while I can train in every class, it would be nice to be able to train at... Um, I want to say it's the it's one of the the magic classes that I need um, to get to, and it's in Gridania. So if I were to go into, let's see, where is it at? The Olden Envoy is that's what it's called. Uh, speak with Momodi for that. Uh, so let's go talk to her. Um, the Adventurers Guild is right around the corner. And what is this again? So you want to be a Pugilus. Okay. That was the pug quest. Uh, I just went to the wrong place. <laughs> I saw that other quest. I was like, hey. But yeah, it's the wrong one. I have to go to this one. And I'm guessing Momondi is going to see me off to that. Well, now that we finished the Gladiator's quest too, I've got some more stuff that I can do. To stream, and that is going to be the last of the smithy quests, or the next of the smithy quests. These guys right here. This is what these these guys are. What gives you um, the awesome armor that I'm wearing now with my legs and my arms? Uh, let's talk to Momo D and finish up. Ah, back from your meeting with Robin, are you? What did the big man have to say? Is that a fact? <laughs> Personal envoy of the Flame General himself. So you've been bearing that great man's words to all the leaders of the Alliance, will you? And by airship, bugger me, that's an honor and a half, that is. But I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. I'm proud of you, Zul. I truly am. Now, I dare say Robin told you this. But m not many people get to go on airships these days. In fact, most folk go to their graves having never seen, having never once seen the Eorzea from above. Poor buggers shuffle off to meet their having, uh, thou having never known the blues of Limsa Lamenza shimmering seas or the myriad greens of leafy Gridania. Limsa is beautiful. Um, but not you, Zul. You'll see these sights and more. And everywhere you go, you'll find fascinating folks with fascinating tales to tell. The people you meet, the places you go, savor these experiences, for they are all priceless. All. Saying that, it'd be, it'd be remiss of me if I didn't remind you to be careful out there. Ulda ain't the only beset by, uh, place beset by troubles. I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. As you'll discover when you visit Limsa and Gridania. Truth be told, that might well be exactly what the general wants you to realize that he knows what kind of man you are, Zul. And that's the kind you... And what kind, you ask? Why? As the kind that can't resist sticking his nose in other people's business, of course. And don't you ever go changing. <laughs> Safe travels, Zul. I'll see you when you get back. Yay! Speak with Momo D, and now we have to speak to Alienora at the airship landing, which we should be able to teleport to now, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go right outside and see, shall we? And let's see, airship landing. Yep. Beautiful. All right. Greetings, sir. This reservation counter for passengers traveling to Limsa Lomenza. If I'm not mistaken, you're in the Flame General's Envoy now, yes? Highwind Skyway is at your service. Will you be flying with us today? Yes. And this is to Limsa. Um. What? Wait, <laughs> I'm not understanding here. Oh. Gangplank, I see. Alright, board the ship? Yes. Here we go. Uh, 
Attention all passengers, the airship bound for Limsa Lomenza is about to deport. Please make your way to the boarding gate. I'm glad I didn't have to go through TSA. <laughs> Imagine taking off these shoes. <laughs> taking off all this armor to get through the gates. Here we go. Oh, that's so epic. First, when first we meet beneath the Sultan tree, I sense there was something unusual about him. I wonder if they will feel the same. Godspeed, Zul. Godspeed. If I'm right, they'll be singing your praises from here to the far reach before long. May you always walk in the light of the crystal. Ah, that's good stuff, man. What the hell? Holy crap. These are the bad guys. I think. Oh yeah, he looks like a bad guy. <laughs> He's a cat on the left, good lord. These are the warriors of Dork. This is an MMORPG, yo. <laughs> That's some good story, bro. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. No, oh, that sounds sociopathic. <laughs> we are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Look badass. Senior engineers, please report to Magitech research following scheduled inspection. Is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign. 
and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othar, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Wow. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. <laughs> Correct. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland. Soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitek. Mm-hmm. Wow. Are we missing his old Kefka? Remember Kefka? Ah, Limza Lemenza. <laughs> yeah. That's it, you guys. <laughs> Next time we come back, we'll continue our adventure. I don't know if I'm going to do it here or Gridania, but I have a feeling that this is the place that we needed to go uh, for now. But I will be doing some live streaming from um, as soon as I go to Gridania and get my, my class. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulogen signing off. And we'll see you next time.